Welcome into the post-game show for this first semifinal game in the warehouse for this floorball tournament. We had baggage, we had McFlurry power, and it it was uh, it was emotionally high. Let's just say that. Let's start down the booth to see what they had to say about this matchup and McFlurry Power's win. Paxton, thank you very much. Uh, boy, a lot of drama in McFlurry Power's 3-2 win over Team Baggage. McFlurry Power, they jumped out to that 3-0 lead, and they just held on at the end. What was the biggest difference in your opinion? Oh, man, I, I didn't think it was going to be a good enough cushion at the end there, but I think the biggest difference was just Baggage missing the net. Those are going to haunt them in their dreams. I think they had the best quality chances, but just couldn't bury. All right, so uh, Paxton is standing by with our star of the game and also a guy who has a little bit of relationship mending to do. Paxton? Okay, Max, star of the game, goalie of the tournament. Statistically, you are the best. I know you're really hoping for that shutout, but how did those two get past you and how are you not going to let that happen in the finals? It's a good question. Uh, the first one was a good goal. It was just a good, clean passing goal, a good goal. Second one was weak. wasn't kind of half asleep, honestly, kind of playing more defense, and shot kind of snuck up on me. But, you know, I just got to lock in. I mean, both games I've let in some weak goals. But made some decent saves, but a lot of weak goals getting by. I mean, first time playing floorball goalie, so we're still getting the hang of it. But, um, you know, I, I'm not worried about myself. Our offense and defense are playing phenomenal. I don't have to do a whole lot. If we just keep playing the way we're playing, we're just fine. I love that. Now, Nick, I have to ask you, even though this might be a little personal, I saw some uh, some tension on the floor. I saw some sorries, but it didn't feel like sorries. I saw some some jabs and, and maybe some punches. So, relationship wise, how are we feeling? That was way more nerve wracking than I thought. Uh, I thought it would be a lot of fun to do that. It was way more nerve wracking, but that's what I like about her. She's competitive. So, do you think this makes you guys stronger? Um, yeah, I'd give it a couple days for the for the losing to wear off, but you know, by then. Smooth sailing. Game nine highlights are here. It's Team Baggage versus McFlurry Power, the first semifinal game, and the top seed McFlurry is gonna come out swinging with the one and only Steve Dangle. It is his second goal of the tournament, and he gets McFlurry Power on the board first. It goes right past Jake Storielli, right between his hands, but they do not stop there. They use the Pavel play and without a doubt he gets it right into the back of the net as he always does. McFlurry Power is up 2-0 to zero, but that is not where they are going to stop making those McFlurries. We see Nick Bowens take a shot and then get the rebound and instantly take another shot making it his sixth goal of this tournament. Nick Bowens has shined from top to bottom in this tournament and we are seeing it right here. But do not doubt Baggage because they've got more fight in them with a wonderful assist by Jimmy O'Brien. Jeff Krause gets Baggage on the board with this incredible shot right past K-Mac, but they do not stop there. Jimmy O'Brien takes the longest shot that we have seen in this tournament from half court right past K-Mac. Dude didn't even see it coming because truthfully, we didn't even see it coming. Beautiful shot. Baggage is only down one. Final few seconds. Kraus feeds it to Sam. She thought she had it. It bobbles. K-Mac gobbles it up and throws it back to his McFlurry teammates. What a crushing loss for Baggage, but what a hard-fought game by both teams. Let's hear from Team Baggage on this one. Well, we had a strategy for this team, and I think we executed it really well. Kraus to shut down Chelsea. I, I I mean, she's very, very good. I don't think she was really involved in their game plan offensively at all, so he did a wonderful job there. And then we were going to try and be a little more aggressive. Their first two goals, one's Pavel on absolute snipe, turnaround snipe, and the other was a soft goal from Steve that um, if we, we said if Steve scores, Steve scores. Very soft. So, that was uh, my bad. So I think after the, being down 2 nothing, it was just like, hey, let's just keep doing what we want to do. And then uh, we just struggle burying shots. If we have to spend a year practicing something, it'd probably be shooting on target. <laughs> Short answer, no. Steve scored again. Yes. Long answer, yes. Spreading out the floor. Every other team plays so bunched up. Uh, my goal was because Chelsea dumped it the length of the floor mm -hmm. and got me space alone. So the more that you can spread them out, get everybody else moving. We don't have to run. They run. Tell you when. It's too little too late. I, I found it kind of in that second period. But, yeah, I can't believe that Pavel one went in. Um, yeah, Nick, I made the first save, but I, I knew I didn't contain it at all. Um, and then, yeah, that, that first one, it went off my hand. 
Um, I still can't believe that one went in, and like he <sighs> couldn't do that. So I hate Pavel. Um, I think we dreamt up the Pavel power play. I think he went like three for four against us. Three for three? Two. Two for four. Two for four and oh, oh for four for us. So fuck that guy. Wugas, 100%. You'd rather play Wugas? Yes. Why? We got ices way too fast for me. I can't keep up. Okay. Steve, you agree? Yeah, we beat them once. I don't really want to have to do it again. They were really fast. Mm. Uh, they ran us into the dirt. Um, I'm going to... Uh, uh, sorry, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to say uh, Wugas. I think. Well, keep keep playing. Okay. Semifinals. We're here. Gave him a game. One goal. One goal. Pavel goal. No more fucking Pavel play. I hope he's busy next year. Even though we saw Baggage lose, their confidence still seemed to be there. They did play a lot of close games, and they got two goals on the best goalie in the floorball tournament. Now, K Mac, the best goalie in the floorball tournament was very confident kicked back shirt off i think he even farted in the post game pressers which was just a line that was crossed and i i don't know if we can ever cross back from it but regardless they're moving on to the finals they don't want to see we got ice and they do want to see the wooga so we'll have to see what that matchup is when we throw it down to kels but before we do that we gotta shout out our sponsors shady rays now i say that slowly so you can hear me when I say Shady Rays because we don't want you to miss this incredible deal. If you use code FLOORBALL, you get $25 off your pair of sunglasses. You could get these. You could get Jimmy's pair. You could get Jake's pair. You could get a random pair of aviators. Whatever your heart desires because they're cute, they're affordable, and we just love Shady Rays. We love them so much. So use code FLOORBALL. Go to ShadyRays.com code floorball for $25 off your pair of sunglasses. Let's throw it down to Kels and see who's going to win. We got ice versus Wugas. Thanks so much, Pax. We're getting ready for game two of the semifinals here. It should be a good one. Wugas, who kind of came out of nowhere. We weren't a team that we were expecting to be really good in this tournament, but they have been a force, especially with those two guys at the front with Corwin and, of course, Lucas O'Brien. And then you take on We Got Ice, who probably, we say, has the most experience here in the warehouse and right Megan Rust is really scary. Uh, she's the brains behind the operation. She can get physical. She obviously knows what she's doing. We've talked a lot about her ice hockey background. So the stage is set for a great game here for the semifinals. Winner obviously advances to the championship. We were able to catch up with both teams before this big game here today and get their thoughts on what's to come. Today you guys are taking on Team Wugas, who's a team that I don't think many people anticipated to be super good. Um, but this is your first matchup against them so I guess your scouting report on them thus far and how you guys think you stack up I think Luke and Corin are probably the most offensive duo here and I think me and Reagan play a lot of defense so on paper it's a good matchup also they kind of just like look like long lost brothers so I don't know how that happened so I think we're going to win. And how do you guys think you stack up against them especially against the brains behind Reagan Rust who's kind of the operator there yeah, I mean, in our uh, last post-game interview, Lauren mentioned that Reagan actually taught her to shoot, so that's uh, it's, it's a tough start, you know? Yeah, we, we got some uh, great competitors out there. I don't know how we're going to cover all three of them. They feel like a pretty, like, singular force that all of them can score and all of them can do whatever, but I think they had more drinks at us in the bar last night, so I think that might be our advantage. You guys have played some fr pretty physical games. Is that part of y'all's strategy, or are you kind of just, I mean, I, I'm specifically thinking about, I think, game one versus Lovia's. Um, very physical. Is that them or you? Um, I would say we're physical, but I, can't, I think we give what we're given. So if they set the tone, we'll play physical, but we both kind of got banged up from that game, so let's not try to do that again. <laughs> <laughs> we just adapt. Yeah. Any team, easy. What can you guys do to really throw Jack off his game and get some, some balls in the net? We just I'll talked about this. Net. Yeah, yeah, we got to get, we got to shoot. We, uh, we heard some stats. Apparently they have faced the least shots in the tournament, us second least, but they've played a, another game from us. So yeah. nobody's tested him, and I think we're going to. So 
we'll see. So some definite strategy there from We Got Ice. Like I mentioned, Reagan is the brains behind this operation. She knows what she's doing. We'll see if they're going to be able to execute it. But another really interesting note from Wugas. You have both of the females. They've trained together. She taught Lauren how to play hockey, how to hit with the stick. So we're going to see if that's going to be a really big detriment to them because Reagan's probably going to know how to stop that. So it should be a good one here, but it's going to be even better when we hear from Jolly Olive. So let's get you down to him so you can hear some of his favorite stats. All right, guys, things are getting pretty heated. We're very, very close to the tournament final. Only one game left to play before we get there. Who is going to play McFlurry Power? Will it be We Got Ice or the Woogas? Both teams have had a very interesting tournament to get here. I'm going to start with the fan favorite We Got Ice. It's been the Zoe and Reagan show. They've scored six of the 17 goals that We Got Ice has gotten so far. But they're going to need some offense because they're the only team shooting under 20% that made it to the semifinals. So they're going to have to be more efficient on the offensive side. Not to mention, their goalie's going to have to step it up. Jack Doyle, he's been the worst goalie with the least amount of saves, least shots faced, and he has the worst save rate at 69%. But that doesn't mean he can't have a big game here against a high shooting team. He's going to face a lot more shots when playing against the Woogas. Luca Bryant, he's been the most accurate shooter. 20 shots on goal in 32 attempts. That's above 60%, which is very impressive. His teammate Corwin, he leads all players with four assists, so they've been spreading the ball around as well. But I think the biggest story on this team has been Lucas Diversa, who was the worst goalie in floorball one and is having a very impressive turnaround. He has a 78.9% save rate. That's third amongst all goalies. Just four goals allowed. That's first place right now after the previous McFlurry game. And one thing I'm going to look out for, who is going to use Pavel first? Statistically, Pavel has scored only when going the first time out in his games. He's never scored going out for the second time. That's been a theme all tournaments. So whichever team calls him out first, I expect them to get a big advantage. Will it be We Got Ice? Will it be Wugas? I think they're going to need every inch they can get to get to the championship final. Let's turn it back to the booth to see what else we should know. You're on the Wugas. Oh yeah, Wuga. What does a Wuga mean to you? <laughs> it reminds me of Crash Bandicoot, honestly. And I know, you know, like, the, they got the mask that goes around. Yes. It means a person with great spirit. A Wuga is just something you can yell and just let it rip. It's also something you can use to intimidate the other team if you yell it repeatedly in their face. Uh, Ruga doesn't mean anything. It's chaos, it's, it's intensity, it's, it's everything you need when you're playing floorball. Ruga is, is a, a state of mind. It's not, it's not something in particular. Ruga is victory, baby. We've got unbeaten Wugas taking on We Got Ice. Really a compelling matchup because Wugas. Unbeaten during the regular season, they have a couple of guys on their offense in Luke O'Brien and Corwin McCallum, who they didn't know each other before this tournament started, but it looks like they've been playing together for years. Yeah, I think they might have been texting each other's strategy yeah. on the way. Corwin's actually trying to show me a sweep shot right now, and that was a fail. Uh, that didn't look good, bud. Maybe try again. <laughs> but, yeah, they have looked good today as a dynamic duo. Uh, it's interesting. O'Brien with four goals, a couple of assists. Uh, Corwin has two goals and four assists. Other side, I was talking to Zoe, and I said, what's your confidence level? Because the guy, when he plays blitz ball, he's like the most kind, courteous, apologetic guy. Wants to make sure everybody's having fun. Something happens to him out here. He changes gears. He's like, Rose, I've never been more sure of anything in my life that we're going to win. I was like, you're guaranteeing a win over Rugas? He said, no, I'm guaranteeing we will win the whole thing. So he says, not only are we win in the semifinal, we're going to beat McFlurry Power in the final, too. Wow. Uh, that's, a, that's a tall task against this heavily powered Wugas team. But, hey, you got to have confidence. No point going into a, a match thinking you can't win, but you got to focus on this one. Don't worry too much about the next game. Just win this one. And while Zoe might be, uh, we got Ice's spiritual leader, Reagan Rust is its heart and soul. Absolutely. I got an absolute bomb. And, again, using my stick, a very veteran move, Going with the expensive Oxdog Hyperlite code PAVEL20, you can get yours today. 20. Do I get a free one? Yeah, 20% uh, off. Excellent. Yeah. Uh, who do you have winning this thing? I, I got to go with the Woogas here. Wow. I just think I just think that uh, the, the Luke O'Brien and Corwin show back there, they're just so good playing off each other. And Corwin learning that new sweep shot, I think it's going to be deadly for him. I, I think I'm going to go with Woogas if for no other reason than they look like um, – 
The wrapper of a Reese's peanut butter cup. I have thought that the entire Seriously? fucking time. They look like Reese's pieces. God damn. I'm glad you said it, man. I'm glad you said it. Kelsey, who do you have? I think in this one, I'm going to take We Got Ice. I know Wugas has been kind of surprising this tournament, especially with their ability to score. But I, th I think I like Jack in the goal. Uh, I still haven't been able to decide that. But still, it's Reagan. It's Zoe. Zoe's really come on this tournament, been a lot better, too. He's really improved in the clubhouse, becoming a fan favorite here, as we know. So it's We Got Ice for me in this one. All right, so Kelsey's going against the two of us, and she's got We Got Ice. But I'll tell you this, man. I cannot wait. For this semifinal. Yeah, this is going to be a great matchup. You're going to see a lot of intensity, a lot of speed here, mm -hmm. and these goalies have actually played pretty decent too, so uh, a lot of good matchups. Yeah, Jack Doyle between the pipes for We Got Ice. Sales Lucas, Lucas Diverso, will be his opposite number for the Woogas. The winner will take out a Mac Flurry power to raise the banner here in the warehouse. We will see you 